Uh, hey everybody, good morning. It is the beginning of a new video. Can you see me? Hi. Hi. I'm actually on my way. It's the beginning of a new vlog. I'm on my way to go pick up my... I'm on my way to go pick up my um, little sister from school. Um, and then we've got a couple of errands to run before I drop her off at home. I wanted to show you a little quick outfit of the day. It's a very clean, easy, simple dress from uh, Misguided. I've had this dress for about two years now, I think. Yeah, so from Misguided is clean and I wanted to wear my chucks with it to keep it very simple. And yeah, I'm gonna go pick up the, the gal. Firstly, 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 Hey! Do you want to say hi to everybody? Hi! Sit. So did you just come from school? Yes. How was your day? It was good. Really? We had one break. Only one? Mm -hmm. Why do they give you guys one break when you need like two? <laughs> Don't you need like two? We had to do... Like somebody do what from your neck? Hey! Hey! We're going to go in here because I want to look at a couple of things in mind. Oh, look at that. It's like a, like a tea and coffee set. That's it's a cute. coffee maker. It's a, co it's a tea and coffee set. Can you put this here, please? Thank you. Definitely for a tea party, eh? Yeah. And here's that's, that's for little uh, sandwiches cake. and cakes. And cakes. Well done. Good job. It's a new day so the last footage you saw was of me and the baby and uh, I had picked up the baby from school I'm pretty much sure that's the last footage you saw oh no then we went into checkers and we did a little bit of running around now the reason why that happened yesterday is because <laughs> I haven't eaten today where's my cell phone okay I haven't eaten today because today for today I want to go meatless and plantless and plant-based <laughs> plantless I want to go meatless and plant-based for today so 
I went into Checkers to try and check out some meat-free selections in terms of food that I can eat that don't have meat, but are like meatballs, hamburger patties, that kind of thing. I went into Checkers for that, and I also went into my spa, my particular spa around me. It has a full section of vegan plant-based what what like all of that kind of stuff vegetarian um uh, like food stuffs in the, in in the spa it's it's a big section it's even got bread that's gluten-free blah 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 and it's got the most sickest selection i will actually add the footage because i did take some pic uh, some video clips i'll actually add the footage here so you can see it I was, I kept on seeing it, but I'd never really gone into that section unless I really needed apple cider vinegar or uh, almond milk, which is typically where they put it. But I never really went in to actually have a look around. And today I did, and wow. <laughs> wow. So the only thing is meatless and plant-based. I'm not going gluten-free or whatever, so I'm still going to have the same bread that I normally have. I don't even actually know if I want bread today. My so I'm going to show you what I picked up yesterday at Checkers, and I'm going to show you what I picked up uh, today. So it is a grocery haul, but it's a plant-based, meatless focused grocery haul, and I'm really excited about these. I, I, mm, Mm, today's gonna be interesting. Mm, mm, eh, mm. Let me. I could not keep them out for long. So here we go. Uh, these are the meat alternatives that I'll be trying out today. But I also picked up tofu. So I might try out tofu maybe for lunch with some veg meat vegetables. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, but let's start with fries. So all three of them are from fries. And. Um, Look, if today goes well, we're going to continue it through the weekend. You're going to see this as a vlog, so it's not going to be a curated what I eat in a day, which is normally what I do, and I put in music and whatever. No, you're going to see it as a vlog. Um, so, the first thing I got was plant-based meatballs from Fry's. This you can find at Checkers, but also my spa has them as well. So that's pretty much what they look like. I, I do have to say that plant-based foods and all of that uh, is considerably much more expensive. I mean, for something like this, I got this for, I don't know, about 40, 50 bucks. That is quite expensive for something this small, but hey. Um, and then I was thinking tomorrow is a Friday, and I was thinking maybe Borovos roll would be a thing that could work. So I picked up four plant-based sausages. The Big Fry Buri, made with authentic South African Borovos spices. So that also looks, I mean, if that picture is anything to go by, that looks really, really, really delicious. It looks really interesting. Uh, so if I don't go the Buri route, I'm thinking of going the burger route because I love burgers. But it's funny because I didn't buy bega rolls or buri rolls. So maybe I might do them with just lettuce or I might just do them bunless, which is also good if I'm trying to eat clean, right? So that's fine. And then I got the big fry burger, juicy, delicious, and perfect for the barbecue. Is there only two in here? Oh my God. Yep, there's only two in here. So, and that was also, I think, around... That 40 anywhere between the 30 and 50 range for all three of these so yeah picked also this up so excited might also even do one of these for lunch and then during the day today I might try tofu <laughs> <laughs> oh man this is gonna be a very interesting day okay so from Spar, which is today, I picked up Oros because this is a black household. We have Oros, standard, all the time. So because it's just me, I typically get the small one. I've stopped from getting the big one. Um, milk, because I'm trying to also go plant-based, dairy-free. I'm trying to do a lot. 
today i'm trying to eat differently to what i normally eat so i bought i had to pick up um the almond milk i picked up sweetened almond milk because i do really feel like having a cup of coffee right now so i am gonna make it with the almond milk and tell you how it tastes i've tasted cold iced coffee with almond milk and it tasted fine but i really want to try hot coffee with almond milk and see how that goes and then um my spa is one of the very few places where i can still actually find blueberries and they 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 make them quite expensive because i can't find i can't even find them at woolies at this point of the year so um, I picked up, I was like, before they disappear, let me just get a pack of blueberries and also a pack of blackberries. So, imported, as it says. Proper. And then in here, this is the exciting packet, I think. So in here, we have bread, because, hey. Then we have, I'm excited about this. This is the Earth. And Co. Dairy Free Gouda Flavored Cheese Slices. Mm, it looks good. I'm keen on tasting it now. So let me show you everything and then I'll taste it. And then maybe I might just have a sandwich for breakfast. That could be a thing. That could be a good thing. Picked up burglar wheat because I cook burglar wheat almost every week. So it's a staple in this house. Some fresh avocados. Rice cakes. Now... At some point, I used to enjoy rice cakes. At some point, I really used to enjoy rice cakes. And then at some point, I got sick of them. But I really want to try these uh, Provita ones. Um, uh, because I really do just enjoy Provita. Like the, the normal Provita crisp bread. So I want to try the rice cake version. Because I've got the crisp bread in the house. And I think this would be great for a snack. With some uh, cherry tomatoes. With a little bit of seasoning. Hummus. Uh, cream cheese, whatever, whatever, snack that way, but yeah, um, then this is the exciting bit, tofu, I am really scared <laughs> about how this looks, but this is a uh, green guru tofu, firm non-GMO sautéed with herbs, tastes good like vegan should, okay, <laughs> So the ingredients is soya beans, uh, nigari, sunflower oil, vegetable stock, basil, parsley, celery, bay leaves, onion, tomato, quite clean. Uh, heat in a pan with oil of choice and then add. Oh, okay. We might try that for lunch, but I typically really like smoothies during lunch, but I'll try it today for lunch. And then I got some panini bread because I couldn't decide what I wanted. Fresh panini bread. I couldn't decide what I wanted for breakfast. So, do I want toast? Do I want panini bread? Do I want like an open sandwich of panini bread? Oof. So, let's give it a shot. I've tasted the one at Woolies and from Woolies. And I mean, it was okay. There was nothing really interesting about it. Really. So, I'm just gonna try and open this because this is a bit tricky to open and then I'm gonna take it and put it in a glass container I no normally don't keep them in here I put them in one of the glass tupperwares that I have and then I stick it in the fridge so here we go so for Gouda it's uh, quite light looking firm smells like smells like cheese but smells like those really like goat's cheese like the really rotten -y type of cheeses <laughs> Okay, um, I don't know. Here we go. Oh, it's actually quite nice. Mm, not truly flavorful the way we're used to cheese being. A little bit more rubbery than the way we're used to cheese being. Um, but it's good. It's good. Um, water, vegetable fat, tapioca, potato starch, sea salt, flavoring, and colorant. Wow. It's actually quite good. It's got a little bit of uh, salt. I can pick up the sea salt. That's nice. Mm. 
I like it. The color looks more of like a white cheddar than a gouda. But I suppose different countries have different colored goudas and you probably find different colored goudas here. But this for me is normally a white cheddar color as opposed to gouda. Gouda is slightly darker and more on the orangey side. The gouda I've seen. But it's nice. I mean, I'll let you know if it's got a bit of an aftertaste. I think it might. Hmm. <laughs> Mm, interesting. All right, let me pack all of this up. I'm gonna make some coffee, hot coffee with almond milk, and then possibly also toast, make a sandwich, maybe with some tomatoes. No, something about it is a little off-putting. I got an extra aftertaste, Diana, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So extra, but I know I'm the same. Yeah. Love me in spite of my trauma. Give me what I need instead of the drama. Okay, so one thing that I have already noticed is that it's not as lightning or cream like it just when you do the coffee with um full cream milk, the color comes out much lighter than that. So in terms of the color. The color is quite darker. Uh, I don't know about the taste though, so let's give it a shot. Come on. Hmm. Definitely not as full bodied like a full cream milk um, coffee would be. It's not as full and creamy and rich. Um, as it would be with full cream milk, but it's still enjoyable. The foam as well at the top, I noticed when it was spinning in there and when I put it out, the foam wasn't, um, the froth, <laughs> the foam, the foam, the froth wasn't, foam froth, whatever, okay? It wasn't as, uh, mm, you know what I mean? It wasn't, it, mm, mm, mm. Um, as it is, it's actually that froth is dissipating quite quickly. So it's, it's, it's good to notice the difference. It tastes nutty, which is nice. I made sure that I prepared it with a coffee that's a very basic coffee that doesn't have a uh, sweet or fruity scents or whatever so that I could just have the coffee and then play around with tastes and whatever when it comes to the almond milk. So definitely nutty but quite enjoyable the color is slightly a little bit darker but quite enjoyable so let's make the <laughs> we're gonna go with the butter first because i love the sandwich toast i love it to be quite buttery <laughs> i don't know how much of a good idea that is but that's fine so just the one should be okay just gonna cut the sides off because then it melts out onto the thing and that drives me nuts. So we cut up the cherry tomatoes. Hang on. We be going so hard on the flip side. So tell me we'll be on a day, babe. I could keep that same energy. When you go low, I go low too. But you'd rather stay high, I know. Can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that way. Trying to control our emotions. If we on a rise out of passion, we can share love in the ocean. But if you want to go... All right, here we go. Ooh, y'all should see at that. So I'm not seeing any cheese spilling over on the sides. In fact, this is the cheese. I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. But hey, it makes this a less messier job. Let's taste it. Let's see when it's melted and all of that, how it tastes. Let's get this out of here. Ooh. 
comes out quite easily and it's probably because of the tomatoes because now some of them just slipped out so the toast is fairly wet that's a little bit of a fail but it's fine Let's see if I can cut it down the middle so I can at least show you what it looks like on the inside hmm, hmm. so here we go I'm gonna taste this is gonna be breakfast I'll try and pull it out as okay well it's not as soggy actually so I'm exaggerating probably because these are cherry tomatoes so they're a lot more firmer than normal tomatoes if it was normal tomatoes probably would have been a lot soggier so let's taste this shall we <laughs> to be quite frank I can barely taste the cheese <laughs> um, I can't because it's not as um, potent in taste and texture as normal cheeses uh, dairy cheese so I can barely taste it You can tell that there's something there with a bit of salt, but not cheese. Definitely not. Mm. I mean, it's okay. It's it's an okay breakfast. It's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do some work. Probably check in a little bit later. <laughs> Today is going to be a rather interesting day. Cheers. Go to voicemail. I block you so I don't raise hell. Should the talk through it in detail? Okay, so it is three o'clock. I ate, as you can recall, at around 12. So I've decided. <laughs> oh, I don't know how this is gonna go. I've decided we're gonna try out the tofu right now for lunch. Um, I also made. Sometimes this is what I do with the smoothies, the green smoothies that I do. It's quite a thick one. So I'm going to make the tofu with a little bit of burglar wheat. And this is going to be my green intake. This is going to be my drink slash uh, whatever. Um, and this. So it should keep me nice and full uh, before dinner time. Now... If I am going to be having this, this is fairly going to be a heavy lunch for me. I don't think I'm going to make the meatballs with the pasta because that's going to be too much food for me in one day. So I'll probably make a bunless burger um, with some greens on the side for dinner. And we'll see how that goes. But this is going to come with this and... You always know I make burglar wheat every single So this is the first time I'm checking texture of tofu. Very rubbery. Ooh, the herbs and the spices smell really, really good. So that's good. Um, let's just yank the whole thing out and see. I don't know if I want to use all of it. So what I'll do is, what I'll do is leave some of the rest in this bag. And then if I do enjoy it, I will prepare it again tomorrow. So what I wanted to do is just chop it up into small. I'm going to do a little bit of an Asian twist to this by adding soy sauce and hoisin sauce. I'm going to add a little bit of the soy and the hoisin sauce just to give it a little bit of, you know, um, that salt and that Asian flavor to the dish. Should be good. I don't okay. know. So here we go. Oil is nice and hot. And 
throw this in there. Oh, nice sizzle. Okay. We love it. Okay. Let's give this a little bit of a... Okay, that smells really good. So, what we're going to do here is, while this is uh, sautéing, it's changing color, it's going brown. That's a good sign. I am going to add some bulgur, bulgur wheat, literally one scoop. That's it. Okay, maybe one and a half. One and a half of the scoop. That's pretty much it. Look at that. Look at her. Beautiful. Oops. Stabbed right through the air at that point. Mm -hmm. I just like to have the air on the side there. This is not going to be a neat bowl. I'm trying to have lunch. I think it's pretty much ready. What I'm going to do now is add some of the soy. Alright, alright. Take it easy. Soy um, gives a nice salty taste. Completely ch change the color. And then the hoisin brings a little bit of sweetness, which we love. So, we make it a whole Thai fusion inspired panacea. Here we go. We're just gonna go in the tofu. That looks insane. Tofu looks great. That's how the bowl looks. How cute is that? It's beautiful. Propping you up so you guys can see my reaction. So this is going to be the first time I'm having tofu. I'm gonna start with the avo and the burglar wheat, just so that I, now, let me not acclimate my mouth first, no. Okay. So this is the first time I'm going to be having tofu. I'm going to t just take the tofu bit. Here we go. You can see it, right? Look at that. <sighs> Here we go. Mmm. I mean, it's actually quite nice. Um, it's rubbery, as they always say. But I feel like um, the sauces that I used, the hoisin sauce and the um, uh, soy sauce, helps me, you know, in terms of memory and all of that, it makes me think that I'm having like chicken strips or like beef strips drizzled in hoisin sauce and, and soy sauce. So it actually isn't bad. I don't, I don't know why people don't like it. Mmm, mm -mm. honey, it's actually delicious. Now, this also could be highly because of um, the fact that it was already mixed in with the herbs, but I can definitely even prepare this tomorrow. So good. Oh, wow. For me, I don't typically cook around lunchtime. Um... I'll probably just have a smoothie or something, but I don't typically cook uh, during lunchtime. So here we are. And now that we're here, I'm thinking it is my lunch break. I might as well just answer some of the extra questions that I got for the Q&A while I eat this amazing tofu. I am eating tofu and I'm enjoying it. Who am I? <laughs> mm, good. You know what it also reminds me of in terms of texture? Fried halloumi. It really, really does. So, I, I don't know. Like, for me, I really don't have a problem. I feel like it's, it's all in how you season it. Um, I don't know about people who have, like, tofu scrambled or anything like that. But I feel like it's all in how you season it. 
uh, that will determine the outcome of how it tastes. Mm. Okay, so one of the questions that I got was from Nolutando, Notando, who says, how do you manage to be consistent with uploading videos on YouTube, filming, editing, and uploading, which takes me seven hours? Well, oh, oh, no. it's just, this lunch is bomb, y'all. For me, it's all about time management. I'm very particular about how I manage my time. What I do when, how, blah, blah, blah. But I'm not going to take away from the fact that it means that I'm constantly busy. Sometimes I need to actually tell myself that, Gatleo, you need to take a break, like relax, you know? I'm constantly busy. If I'm not working, I am recording a video or I am editing a video or doing something or other or doing other stuff for other things. Um, that's why I am very, very particular on time management and I'm very, very particular about recording, especially if I'm going to be doing sit down videos, recording a number of videos in one day. So I'll record like four in one day and then I know all I need to do is just edit it in the coming days. Ed editing for me over the years has become much quicker, uh, much faster. And now that I edit on Final Cut Pro as well, I've learned the shortcuts to editing on Final Cut Pro. So a video will take me at most two to three hours to edit. And then if it's, um, if it's a video that's got a lot of music and a lot of fast forwarding, this, 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 and I'm playing around with the color palettes and all of that, like your what I eat in the days and stuff, that'll take me a little bit longer. Um, but I just make time. I feel like you just, you find a roster, you jot things into your diary, what you're gonna do, when, how, and how. <laughs> and then you just kinda, you get on with it. Hey Kat, what really happened with your previous man? Hey Rose, that's too much information for you to ask and I'm not yet going to um, dignify that with a response. Thank you. Another one about a house tour. Not gonna do that, I mentioned this. Um, how do you deal with con colleagues in conflict? Mm, that's a good question. Especially when it comes to dealing with people older than you because I'm struggling with that at my new workplace. I feel like um, what I do, we, we don't really struggle with that. I'm very, very fortunate and I don't sit in on uh, meetings like that that re revolve around uh, colleagues having disagreements or in conflict because I'm not in like an HR position or whatever. I'm in a completely different field. But if um, my colleagues are having a conflict, you, you, I would advise them to try and resolve it without it, it getting any worse. If not, go to HR. Talk to HR about it so that there can be a sit down, a round table discussion where there's witnesses if it really, really gets bad. But um, I don't deal with that kind of, um, that side of work. So, and I don't, if a colleague doesn't like me, I don't, excuse me, I don't allow myself to get into conflict with a colleague. If a colleague doesn't like me, hey, it is what it is, that's all on you. But um, if they try to cause conflict with me, I walk, I turn the other way. If not, if it gets really bad, HR, HR it, all of it. Hey, cat. I'd like to know what advice you'd give to a first-time car buyer who's considering buying a new second-hand car, an Audi, under the mileage of 50 kilometers. New second-hand car under the mileage of 50 kilometers or 50,000 kilometers or 5,000 kilometers? Because if it's at 50 kilometers, that's a new car. If it's at uh, 5,000, then it's a new second-hand. If it's at 50,000, I don't know if I would call it a new second-hand. Um... Because it's a new second hand, it's, it's anywhere around the, the seven, ten thousand, maybe fifteen. I don't, I don't see, so I don't know uh, what exactly you mean here. Um, but if it's under 50 kilometers, then that's a new car. That's a brand new car. Um, but always, if you're going to buy a second hand um, car, you always have to make sure you know 
more information about the car not per se who the owner was or whatever if the car had any problems all that kind of stuff you'd have to do a lot more research and digging to make sure that you're going to buy a car that's not going to give you a problem two months down the line so oh love has a great video where she talks about um Olaf is mummy from mummy and baby approved where she talks about how she bought um, a car and it was a second hand vehicle and um, started giving them problems and whatever but she goes into great length and detail about what you need to look out for and those kinds of things so I definitely recommend that you check out her channel where she talks about her car um, me I've pretty much bought my cars uh, new except uh i think i was in varsity my very first car i think was a new second hand a new second hand no. what happened with your previous man seriously rose Jeez. i'll talk to you guys a little bit later bye